Hi, I'm Mark from Platinum LED Grill Lights. Today we're going to have a fun little side by side. We're going to test our P900 LED Grill Light, a thousand watt HPS replacement against an actual thousand watt Super HPS. By testing the PAR, the intensity level, along with the actual spectral output of both devices, we can show that by using half the power of our quality LED grow light, we can meet or exceed your traditional 1000 watt HPS. Not only this, but by consuming around half the power, you're generating a lot less heat, the plants are happier, more budding sites, higher THC percentages, everything. It's a clear advantage. Before we get to the actual data, we like to verify a few things in the sake of fairness. First of all, the actual wattage draw of this device. As you can see, we're drawing right about a thousand watts. This is a 100% digital ballast running at full capacity. Second of all, the hanging height. We've even been nice and put this down around 24 inches, which is the same height that we'll put the P900. As you know, this is even low for an HPS. And due to the inverse square law, as you raise the light into the needed height, you're going to be losing continued intensity. But we'll be fair here. Now, the actual data. First of all, the PAR. Remember, PAR is an unweighted value of just the light intensity, how much light is coming out, okay? At a center point, at 24 inches, this is hitting right around 900, we'll call it 960 micromoles at 24 inches. The second part of this equation is the actual spectral output. Remember that spectral output relates to the actual efficiency of the light and the green chlorophyll. What is chlorophyll physically absorbing and how does what you're putting out match that? That's spectral efficiency, which is the other half of growing power. Now, a fresh hit on the UPR tech monitor. We can see that this is a super HPS bulb, which is a quality bulb. Yet still, it's an extremely inefficient output. You have a large peak right in the area where plants aren't even absorbing much of it, which is yellow and green some in the reds, and almost nothing down low. This means that only about half of what you're actually putting out, almost half about of the electricity that you're actually consuming, half of the heat that you're burning, you're not even using, it's wasted. All right, the other part of this is the actual temperature. What we have is a laser thermometer. We can see that direct refraction equals around 127 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's gonna simulate your actual leaf temperature. This is another factor that contributes to LED grow lights producing top quality product, even higher THC percentages. You're not physically burning the trichomes right off the plants, nor are you stressing them like you are with HPS. There's simply no comparison. Now for the platinum LED. First of all, in the effort of fairness again, we're gonna verify a few things. We're first gonna verify the wattage draw, which you'll see around 513, 515 watts of actual draw which is, as you know, around half of the 1,000 watt HPS. The second is the actual hanging height. Again, same as the HPS in the effort of fairness, 24 inches, all right? Now for the data that matters. Again, you know that the power of a grow light, any grow light, is measured by how bright it is and what type of spectrum of light it's putting out. That's it. So first, the PAR test to compare with. You'll see that 24 inches of hanging height we're hitting just over 1,300 micromoles. That's almost 400 more than the 1,000 watt HPS while using around half the power. Now, we don't stop there because again, PAR is non-weighted. We're looking at the actual spectral output. What are you doing with that intensity? How are you relating it to the actual absorption levels of green chlorophyll? Well, we'll get a fresh hit. You can see that you have an ultra-efficient output ranging all the way from UV to infrared in exactly the right ratios, which match what the green chlorophyll is physically absorbing. This gives us spectral efficiency. So not only do we have a brighter light by using half the power, we have a far more efficient light. There simply is no comparison. Not only that, we have a much cooler light. As you can see through our laser thermometer, right in the center, we're hitting right around 82 degrees around 30 something degrees cooler than the actual HPS. Now, not only is the actual surface temperature lower, the core temperature of the fixture is lower. This in turn creates less heat. Wattage draw and BTUs actually go hand in hand. By consuming half the power, we're also putting out around half the heat. Now, this lower surface temperature, what it means to you as far as your plants are happier plants. Your trichomes not burning, your plants not stressing. 
your plant's physically creating higher THC levels around 3 to 5 percent than the same exact cuttings grown under HPS. This is a happier plant, more budding sites, happier, more terpenes, happier. There simply is no comparison. The days of HPS are long since gone. LED grow lights, quality LED grow lights, are the future through spectral efficiency, ultra high output, zero maintenance cost, longevity, there simply is no comparison. Feel free to come to our website at any time at PlatinumGrowLights.com and we'll show you how Platinum LED Grow Lights are the highest PAR producing LED grow lights of anything else on the market today. Combine this with an ultra efficient 12 band spectrum and you have the most powerful LED grow lights. Thanks so much.